Hello. Hello, girls. <laughs> Ask me why. Ask me. The we're live. Is, live. We're live. All right. Happy All right. Friday. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Why is this camera backwards? There we go. We don't know what's happening. Hey. Happy Whoa. Friday. Happy Friday. We are back. Back, 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 back. Let me get up in here. All right. Hello. It is hello. Time to hello. Hello. If you are watching, let us know because we can see nothing. We can't see nothing. We can see nothing at all. Everyone, open up to Daniel 12. Hi Sonia. Hi, Sonia. Hi, Mel. Hi, Mandy. Mandy. Girl, how am I reading about to say Melody? <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know. Hi, Val. Hi, Val. Hello, it's hello. Just, hi, girls. It's Val. <laughs> <laughs> hi, Val. Oh, I'm so happy that so many of you are on yes. on a Friday. On a Friday. Okay. okay. Friday. 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 Friday, Friday, Friday. If you're watching, let us know. Oh. If you're watching, let us know. Y'all want to know what I just realized? Guess who got to do the recap? We're going to both oh, do it together. No. Yeah, uh -uh. It's, a, it's, a last, it's a last recap. It, it's your recap. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> this is her recap. I went last oh time. My. I don't know why we were both recap. This is her recap. But it's the last recap. I don't. But this is Hi, your, Sherry. But it's the but charity. <laughs> Hi, it's Sherry. The last, I don't. Okay, we're going to do something different. No, I... I <laughs> I think we should do something different. Okay, what is it? Okay. We're going to, I'm going to see if we, wait, before I say it, I'm going to test it out first. Before I say it, and everybody uh -huh, get excited. Uh huh, uh huh. Let me test it. Hold Hi, on. Janae. Hey, Boo Boo. Hi, Elizabeth. I have never seen this before. Hold on. Hey. Uh -oh. What have you never seen? Let me see if I click on somebody. Oh, it's because how we signed in. Oh. oh, we can't do it. Oh, you wanted to bring somebody on to do the recap? I oh, did. That fun. I wanted to bring someone in to do it. Oh, and I kind of like, fun. it's almost worth shutting this down. But this, well, we're not going to uh -huh. do that. We're not going to shut it down to go on our phones and bring somebody on. But this is what I would like to do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Is, okay, so Monday. You know, we're done with Daniel 12. We're done with the yeah, whole book of yeah. Daniel. We, we did done. the whole book of Daniel. My that is Lord. exciting. That is exciting. Um. But next, we uh -huh. are partnering with everyone who has done this loop challenge. We are yes. going to Hi, bring Ruby. them live so everyone else can get on the loop challenge. Oh, and that'll so be so nice. It, it will be. So Monday. Yeah, 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. Yes, for whoever's done the loop challenge all the way to this point, if you want to do the recap, we want to bring you live. Ooh, to do the yeah, recap. Yeah. So whoever is doing the Luke challenge and you you really feel like you could do it under a minute. Yeah. Recap Luke. I think we'll be on Luke 15 by Monday. Or yeah, 15 by Monday. Oh, Luke. 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 Um, there's a chat where Luke. Luke. some are reading Luke, Luke every Luke. day until Luke. Luke. Christmas. Yes. So they're reading Luke as an Luke. advent challenge. Yeah, as an advent challenge. Yeah. And yeah. so they will be on Luke's we because it's a we yeah, thing. Yeah. We will be on Luke 15 on Monday. And you guys yeah. normally we start the the books from chapter one, but they have yeah. already started. Yeah. And so yeah. we are coming alongside of them, and we're gonna all partner yeah. and do it. But we gotta catch up. And yeah. so yeah, yeah, yeah. Yesterday there was a post trying to catch everybody up on Luke. Yeah. Today there'll be a, be a post, post catching everybody on Luke. And tomorrow, tomorrow there's a post catching all of us yes. up to yes. what's happening in yes. Luke. Yes. And what we're saying is one person can hop on a live with us, and you could do the one minute recap. That'll be so much fun. Um, and catch us all up like yeah. that yeah. on the live. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah, Charity yeah. and I would take it from there, and then. We'll read Luke 15. Yeah, yeah. And I love that we're, we spent two books, the first two books of the Bible doing Old Testament. Yeah. And now it's Luke was our first yeah. book to do the New uh -huh, Testament uh -huh. on and grow up in your Bible. And I'm excited. Yes. I'm excited. And I'll Me wait, too. I'll wait I wait to share I think she's trying to talk your way out of doing <laughs> the one minute recap. But uh, <laughs> I have not forgotten. I have forgotten. <laughs> no one has forgotten. I have forgotten. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, here I we go. Not. 
Okay. Let me get the timer ready. Let's see if I can do it. Y'all know I'm, I'll okay. be struggling. We'll see. We shall see. It's not because I forget. Uh-huh. What is it? It's because there's so much happens. Oh. How can you fit it in a minute? Oh, okay. I see. I see. Okay. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. Mm. I think I can do so it. So she has one minute. I have one to minute. To recap. Daniel 1 to 11. Okay. Can she do it? I can't. I can't. She's coming in under the hour. Okay, you know what? We're going to give you a minute and 30 seconds. Okay, I can do it. Okay. We're going to give you a minute and 30 seconds because that is a lot to recap. So we want to set you up for success here. Thank you. So let's pull that up, please. I just realized you were using my phone. I was like, why yeah, she keep finding the phone? I told you I can't find my phone. Oh. Um, <laughs> I don't know where it is. Okay, okay, here we go. All right. Go. Okay, so in Daniel, um, a good synopsis of what's going on between 1 to 13 is that you have these people who some have insight and some do not. And we have these Hebrew slaves who who have they're eating the best of the best and because they're eating the best of the best they can hear god clearly and that is us if we want to hear god clearly we have to watch what we're putting into our mouths what we're putting in our gates we have to watch it all and then we hear about the others how they are falling victim to eating from other things that do not mm-hmm. fill them up. Like they're going to sorceries, they're going to all these, they're, you know, they're going to all these places, they're they're idol worshiping and it's all falling flat and they need they need God and God comes and like, I don't like none of that and bye king. And so, and then it just generational, you see it keep going to the next king, keep going to the next king, keep going to the next king. And then when you, there's these stories where the Lord steps into the ones that he's chosen. He steps in for the ones that he loves. He steps into the ones that, you know, obey him. He steps into the ones who follow him. He steps in. He's in the fire with you. He's in the fire with them. He's in the lion's den mm-hmm. with those, the ones who decided yes. to walk yes. his way. And so, mm-hmm. okay, yes. now, yes. now we're in a part where Daniel's getting the vision of futures and he's seeing that there's more destruction to come. But now we're about to read about his prophecy of Jesus. That's where we're at. Did I make it? You did. One minute <sighs> and 24. Oh my gosh. I stopped talking and what I really want to say (laughs) about the prophecy of Jesus. And as we know that Jesus is the only way, Jesus is the only one He's pointing us to the Messiah and how these people couldn't get it together. Mm. And we'll we'll continue to read that in the Bible. These people can't get it together. They can't get it together and they can't get it together because we're always supposed to have the Messiah. Mm. There was always supposed to be help, someone to help us. Yes. And so we're going to read in 12 and I love how we've taken a different shift yes. on how we're reading. Normally, we yes. read word for word, word for word, sentence for sentence, sentence. But however, when you read Daniel, this is its instructions on for you, yeah, on how to yeah. hear God yeah. clearly, how to understand, how mm-hmm. to how to understand when He gives you visions and dreams. These are instructions for yeah. the seer in you. For the vision, the vision you. So yeah. for most people, if you really have loved our, you know, our study on Daniels, because you can see and you're starting to understand mm. the things that you can see, yeah. Yeah. you know, and we love to help the ones who are like, okay, but I had this dream last night and I still can't figure it out. We'll give you steps. We'll say, yeah. did you ask God? We're always going right. to say, we're going to see, did go, you go did to you wisdom, ask? go to wisdom because yeah. yeah. everything is hit here. We always we'll pray you. about it, you know, yeah, and that's pray, pray about, about that too. Yep. Ask, ask yep. for all things. Yeah, you know. So what got us the most when we read Daniel twelve was the third verse, and it says, "Those who have insight will shine like the bright mm-hmm. expanse of the heavens, mm-hmm. and those who lead many righteous yes. like the stars forever and ever." I'm gonna read that in the New King James yeah. version. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I passed it. I'll read it again while you look for it. Okay. So in our CSB version, it says, Daniel 12, 3, those who have insight will shine like the bright expanse of the heavens and those who lead many to righteousness like the stars forever and ever. Yeah. Those who are wise shall shine Mm. like the brightness of the firmament and those who turn many to righteousness like the stars forever and Mm. ever. And so there's beauty here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's beauty here. There's instructions. 
and there's color here and there's identity here. Those who are wise. Those who have insight yeah, will shine. Those who have insight. And Daniel had all the insight. Shadrach, insight. Meshach, and Abednego had insight. So like this, this is the Lord saying, girl, you bright like a star. You're yeah. my star. Yeah. You're my star. And you shine bright. And mm -hmm. if you turn people to me, mm. you will be a star forever yes. and ever. You will have yes. eternal life. Oh, that's good. That is beautiful. Yes. Yes. It's a mystery here. Mm-hmm. That has mm -hmm. been revealed. Yeah. And some of y'all, this is when you ask questions, Lord, well, break it down for me. Did you say I'm a star? What does that mean to you? Yeah. You know, that's yeah. when you start going to read everything that the Bible says about heaven and go get curious. Yeah, I this love is when that. You, di you dissect what, what do you that think? Thing. What do you think being a star looks like? Yeah, what does that mean to you? What you, does that mean to you? If, if the father's saying, hey, you are wise, you know, you have insight, mm -hmm. so you shine bright like a star. What does that mean to you? What does that you? mean to you? What does that mean? Oh, mm -hmm. Sonia, I like that. My daily prayer, like Lord, let your, song, yeah. let your light shine through me. That others may see you and know that you are what to know you and what, what to know. Yeah. Thank you. And want to know you. Yes. 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 That's beautiful. Because we know that's the eternal life. That's yeah. it's his life. Yeah. Yes. It's it the is. light on the hill that never be hidden. Yeah. What else, girls? If the Lord looked at you and said, You are wise mm. and you shall shine. Turn people to me. Yeah. And there you will be a star forever and ever, mm. ever shine. Like, mm. there you will have eternal life. Yeah. How does that make you feel yeah. if the Lord telling that to you? Because he is. This is his words. Mm -hmm. These are his words. Yeah. How does that make you feel? Oh, my. It Honestly, it makes me feel like there's more. I have more to do. Yeah. You know? Instead of feeling like, oh, I'm there, it makes me feel like, hmm, I need to go ask and pray about some things, you know? Yeah. Um, it's like, oh, those who are wise, those who, those who have insight, it's like, Lord, give me wisdom. Yeah. You know, give me more wisdom so that I can speak to people yeah. and let them know about you. Mm. For me, it reminds me of that week that also made me had in coaching a couple of months ago when the Lord was like telling them to stop earthly thinking. Mm -hmm. to come yeah. outside yeah. of earth oh. yeah. and it's too there's that a scripture so in the old testament we had open bible to it it was a scripture in the old testament yeah. and the new testament the lord was heavy on us that week and was just like come outside of earthly thinking think have eyes to heaven have a heaven's thinking look at the situation yeah. from that lens yeah. not and you sent this something to me yesterday about being uh blinded being uh spiritually uh, dilated oh yeah i sent you a video and yeah, a girl was talking about that yeah it was yeah. so good this is it what was that so reminds good. me yeah. of it's like yeah. you know having like when we look at our situations when we when we're helping people wherever the situation may be is that if if he calls me a star then he's calling me outside of this yes he's calling me higher yes. and yes. he's telling me to rise up yeah yeah rise up and see that he's unlimited yeah beyond yeah. what i am looking at yeah. today yeah like look at it from heaven and say oh mm. i got this option yeah this option i can do this on this there is no yeah. scarcity here yeah but earth when we're going through problems oh, when we're going through situations yes. we can only see what's around us it's so much vapor yeah. Yeah. vapor living and we, we read that in ecclesiastic that life is just a vapor and the lord is saying but, but those mm. those people who yeah. are stars that are yeah. pointing people to me you are a star mm. there is a difference between vapor living mm. and star living and i don't know about mm. you i want to be, want to be a, a star, star. i want to, want to shine bright for him uh, one of our clients a couple of weeks ago, she said, "My light shines bright." It says Jesus, oh, that and thing we was were good. like, <laughs> "Amen." Okay, Amen from Arkansas. <laughs> Amen. Amen. From She's Arkansas. in Chicago. He's like yeah. Chicago to Arkansas. Yeah. Amen. 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 Let them see you shine bright because your light says Jesus. And when she said, "Sonya," uh -huh. said the same thing. Yes. Yes. Let them I, I love what you said about coming outside of things, right? Yeah. 
And I was trying to, like, how does that work? How does that make sense? But I think about when you think about children, yeah. right, and parenting, and how kids can, they can get so upset yes. and be so emotional yes. about the smallest thing. And you as a parent, you're like, you have no idea. Okay. You know, and I don't know what a good example of that is, but it's like, they'll just get so riled up, so emotional about these things. And it's like, but you know, you're going to be fine. Yeah. You're crying about something that I got doesn't a great, even matter. I got a great example because the okay. Lord set this okay. up for us today. So, um, my Sia, so I have a five-year-old daughter and we are kicking it and we have our coffees in our hand and we are visiting with my mom in her room. And, <laughs> <laughs> and so, oh, I should probably get some backstory of my life a little bit. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. You know, as you guys know, I'm married. I have two children. But what you guys don't know is that um, my in-laws and my mother both live with us. We live in a multi, we call it a multi-generational home. Mm -hmm. They yeah. moved in with us because of health issues. Mm -hmm. And my mom is completely healthy. I mean, that that girl is moving. However, we still live together. This, yeah. this is how we like yeah. to be in, and we love it. And so we're in my mom's room up here, and uh, Sia is jumping on my mom's bed. Anybody know? That is like the wrong thing to do to the older generation. <laughs> Jump on a bed. What is going on? <laughs> she's jumping on a bed because she's excited because yeah. Auntie Charity's in the house. Yeah, yeah. And we get this coffee because we're yeah, like, oh, yeah. my time and in it, whatever. Yeah. She bumps over Charity's coffee. It was the little O S H I T. Yeah. Just you know, a little just, just a little yeah, thing, you know. Just, sorry, oh. just a little, oh my goodness. Oh. Mom's never gonna let it. It's on the me. paperwork, mm -hmm. but oh, Oh, no. Next, next, my mom's telling her get out, get out, because she's upset. It wasn't a little old thing to her. Oh, yeah. Next, so. the girl, the baby, just decides that Jump she's going to rip, ricochet off the bed and knocks over mama's coffee <laughs> on the floor. Big cup of coffee, like fresh cup of coffee. Like, it not, burnt your toe and everything. Not, not a ten ounce mug. <laughs> not a ten ounce not, mug. Not a sixteen ounce like mug. We talk like about a twenty ounce like she this got a, a coffee. big mug. She got a coffee. We all was kicking all it all on the floor. All on just... the floor. Now. Mom freaks out, right? The Lord already set this up. I was at the yeah. store earlier getting what? What did yeah. I get? What did the Lord tell me to get today? Uh, carpet, carpet cleaner. cleaner. Carpet cleaner. I had, I'm on the mission to get carpet yeah. cleaner today. Yeah. So I, I just left. We to go get the carpet cleaner. I was like, oh my God, I'm just laughing. Charity laughing. We're just like, we're just going to laugh at the situation because okay. I know mom was going ham. Um, <laughs> come back. <laughs> You know, my mom's trying not to, yeah. you know, go in because we see it at this point is she's like, I made a mistake and she's boo. Oh, -hooing. that baby, the her, baby her is, heart is so hurt because she made a she, mistake. Her, she made a mistake. Oh, oh this she, is good. and it was a, I mean, in her mind, it was so bad and we're laughing at her because ha 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 ha, but we're laughing. It was just, funny. It was funny. <laughs> it was hilarious. And we were like, we're never coming back. <laughs> She's <laughs> never allowing us back in our room. She's like, y'all bought <laughs> pandemonium, the pandemonium into my peaceful space. In her freaking zen. And... The baby see is crying and tears everywhere. Tears everywhere, just, and I'm like, see ya. She's inconsolable. Does Grams point. love you? She goes, yes. yes. Does mommy love you? Yes. Does, does Auntie Charity love you? She's like, yeah. And I'm like, get over it. And I said, guess what? Mommy cleaned it up. Yeah. I cleaned it up. I was like, I already sprayed the stuff on it. I cleaned it yeah. up. And she was like, okay, and still crying and crying, and crying. And literally in that moment, the Lord's like, I cleaned up your messes. Mm. And your mistakes. And, and my mistakes. He cleans them up. We over here still crying about yeah, stuff. Because we we're earthly thinking. We hold on we to hold these on earthly, to it. our earthly mistakes. And yeah. the Lord's like, don't you know? Every step you take, every mistake, every right and every wrong, it's already written. Mm -hmm. I've already had a plan to fix it. Mm -hmm. He had a plan for this. I thought it was for another situation I had to clean up. Yeah, yeah. But it did. was for this. Yeah. It was for this. That thing, but that carpet cleaner was ready. Yeah. He already had the plan to clean it up because he knew it was going to happen. Mm -hmm. And this is the reason why when we're earthly thinking and we can't mm -hmm. get over stuff it's because we stuck looking like this at yes. what's in front of us and not right. high. Right. And if the Lord's saying you are a star, yes, girl, come up outside of that darn issue now yeah. and yeah. see how they're connecting already. Yeah. Look, I'm like, oh, wait, that connects. Wait, oh, okay. Yeah. Yep. That connects. That connects. Okay. Now I can see. I can see. What do we think the God's eye view is, yeah. right? Because we're sitting here and God is like, I'm over here. I already know this is going to happen, but I know the end. Yeah. Sometimes we act as if we don't know the end because we don't. Yeah. Right? And we can go 
our minds, it seems like sometimes they are trained to go worst case scenario. Uh If you want to talk, jump into conclusions, (laughs) you know, something happens. I go from here to a hundred real quick. Like it is just the worst case scenario. Yeah. But the God's eye view says, this is just the blip. This is a blip of a story in your life. But to us, sometimes it can be just. I spilled the coffee. I spilled I made a mess. the coffee. I and it was hot. And it was hot. And it and burned. It was burning. It burned my foot. It burned my foot. <laughs> just a little bit. Just a little bit. It just burnt me. That's so good, though. Yeah. That is so good that God. And guess what? He's with us. He's with us. Just like you were with her, yeah. consoling her, consoling holding, her, her. holding her. And I was like, man, I warned her when we got yeah. in there. <laughs> Cause it's just, I mean, it just got worse and worse and worse. Just a little thing. I'm like, wait, 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 wait. Now, I can't save you from grams. Now, <laughs> our, and then it just oh, got worse. Lord. But I can't it console it her, and I can't love her, and that's what she needed. Yeah, yeah. Was to be whole, and that's what the Lord does to us. He holds us in those moments when it feels like yeah. we've we've done wrong, yeah. or it feels like we can't get yeah. out of the situation we've yeah. messed up. Mm-hmm. And so He calls you His star. So come up out of that yeah, situation yeah. and and look at it. see it for the beauty that it is. Even the or hurts. it might not feel like beauty. Yeah. No, or and it might not out. be beautiful. Yeah, come out. And of it, it might not be beautiful. Yeah. However, that doesn't mean that there won't be a testimony and a beautiful story yeah. out of it that you can share. Yes. Because some of the stuff isn't beautiful. Some of it's ugly. Right. Some of it is it. It's like I there is no beauty. In, in this boo boo yes. that I'm seeing right, because, all around right, me in this situation. Right. And what she's saying is you're you're looking at it. We're yeah. saying come outside. Yeah. Come out of the boo boo yeah. for a second. <laughs> come out of the boo boo. Um, I think one of the best things that I saw within this was um the insight. Yeah. Those who have insight will shine, but it can feel like, well, I don't have insight. Right? It can feel like that. But I would go back to ask yeah. because God gives insight God gives insight to us he does all we have to do is seek and I'm going to go back and to the ask. beginning of Daniel what did they do to get insight y'all Yes. what did they do what did they eat yes you know you, you they went and salt they went and salt they ate vegetables right yeah. they didn't take up all the king's food they didn't take all mm-hmm. this good food that they could have this yeah. rich food yeah. this sugary foods all they didn't take all in that so that's why they say fasting is for you it's not for god so if you're in a situation you feel like you can't hear you in a situation Mm. you feel like you you don't have the insight go fast girl Mm. go fast and get what you need to get but it's not for the lord it 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 was for daniel there and it's for Mm. you as daniel today Mm. you know and that's why we're starting off the year how we start it all and and god can give you and give us insight yes um, there was a situation that had been heavy on my heart probably for the last few weeks. Like this situation was just heavy on my heart, heavy on my heart. And yeah. I just, I felt it. It brought me sadness and, um, I forgot that there was a big meeting that had to be had. And my mom messaged me and said, okay, this is happening today. And I was like, oh my gosh, I forgot. But I had a dream the night before. And I remembered it. I was like, oh, wait. Oh, my gosh. I had a dream the night before. And in the dream, it was fine. Yeah. And in that moment, because I knew that I had that dream and what it meant. And I was like, it'll be fine. Yeah. It will be fine. And the end was that it was fine. It was fine. Now, I don't know the ins and outs of all the steps and how things are going to go, but I knew at that moment, God knew it was heavy on my heart. He gave me insight, and yeah. so then peace happened. Yeah. And, and that's what he can do. Peace. Yes, I did. Yep. I did, and that's what God can do. Mm-hmm. He can give us insight, and he can give us peace. I would love to hear some stories of some insight and peace that maybe the Lord has given you. Yeah, I do too. I would love to hear that, Mm -hmm. but that's what he gives. Mm. And so I know sometimes it can feel like we're in these situations and we don't know the outcomes or what's going to happen. God can give us insight because he knows. knows. So while we're seeing only here and what's around us, he's up here 
And he can be like, you don't have to worry about that. Yeah. You can have peace right now like in this situation him. during the worst times. Yeah. And only he can give that. So I say pray about that thing. Pray about it. Fast about it. Seek, ask about it. Get your answer. Get your answer. Get your answer. Hmm. Okay. Well, we want to know, for those of you who watched yeah. it later, yeah. we want to know, yeah. and everybody else, after you read 12, tell us what your, what your takeaways yeah. are. You got that yes, ours, we so but want, we want to you guys know. To open we up so your Bible want to know. And hear what the Lord's telling you. You know, there's... Yeah. When, when we are reading our Bibles, the Lord is reading us, right? Mm -hmm. And so that's why you can read the same same verse over and over again and get yeah. different things. And so as you guys are help, hearing us read, this is what the Lord's telling us. Yes. Right? And it could be for you too, mm -hmm. and most of the time it is for you, but it's yes. for us it is as well, right, right? right? It's first for us. Yes. And yes. so we want you guys to read it. Yes. Read it. Hi, my love. Um read it yeah and then you tell us your takeaways because it it does no good for you just receiving someone else's takeaways yeah go get your blessing yes. go get your go inheritance get your meaning this yes. is your home this is your home this is yes. not a chore i don't i'm about to get up on this thing oh my <laughs> goodness lord i was not prepared. but you know this i'm always not a, it's not now it can feel like it at first if you're just getting back into the swing of things yes. you know it's like anything it's like running yeah. I don't want to run. Yeah, but, right? But yes. after so long of running, what, what comes, all right? Yeah. I, I'm not a runner. But they say the runner's high comes. And that's what comes, too, yeah. after we really start getting in the Word. Yeah, it becomes not a chore because... Yeah, it's beautiful. You're going to be walking everywhere with this. Everywhere you go, this she will go. Better. And now everywhere I go, mine goes. Yeah, we both be, Hi, we both, we both be having our Word. Because it's not a chore. It's a duty. It's my yes, home. Yes. And it reminds me of the Lord who's with me. Yeah. And if I want insight, I have it. Yeah. I have yeah. it. Here it is. Yep. I have it. Here it is. The Lord's talking to all of you. Yep. You don't need to go to anyone to hear about anything. You go directly to him. Directly to him. That's what we'll always point you back to. Him. What did he say? What you yeah. open up to? Yeah. Okay, you're in Deuteronomy. Okay, you're in Judges. Oh, okay. You're in Luke. Oh, okay. Read it to, you know, read it. Yeah, yeah. Journal that thing Journal out. Journal that thing out. Yeah. Hi, Marlene. Hi, Marlene. Okay. Next. We'll see you guys on yeah, Monday. We'll see you Monday, Luke. 5 p.m. Yep, 5 p.m. Central. We're hopping in with everybody on the Luke Challenge. Yeah. And if you don't aren't sure, go to the chat. Go to the chat. Go to the chat. There's a whole, whole, whole Luke chat. Whole Luke chat. Luke chat. Yeah, I was saying yeah. Luke earlier day on accent. Sorry. Luke chat. Luke, Luke. Luke. And you, we are going to catch up. Don't worry. We're catching up, everybody. Yes, yeah. So but, don't, you don't have to, like, there'll be a, a synopsis. There'll be synopsis. You know, so you can just start with us on Monday if yep. you want to. Yep. Oh, that's okay. It's Lisa. okay, Lisa. That's okay. You can go back to and watch, girl. Yes. Uh, Luke 15, though. Yeah, on that's Monday. What we're starting on Monday. See ya. Oh, mm. girl. Oh, no. girl. 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 I'm tripping. Open, Open your, your Bible. Bible. Bye. <laughs>